Alright, hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Super Metroid by me, Metroid Gamer 12, and right now we're starting off with episode number 13. And uh, if you want to get up this chapter a little faster, you can kind of watch up there. Now we're going to go up. That was a horrible announcement. I feel stupid to even announce that. Now each of these guys are just like those uh, side hoppers in that one room with the power bomb on the floor before. One super missile, next shot freezes. Now as you can see, this door is gray. And if you didn't notice before, this door is also gray. Now when doors are gray, that means that there's something that you have to kill in order to get out. So that's what we're currently doing, is we are killing enemies to get out of here. Bit of a long room, that's right, there's a number of them. Most of them are just those little glowy things, though. No problem. And watch those spark things, those can hurt you, you saw me hit before. Now, the thing with gray doors is, if I shoot this one, it's great, I can leave, I can come back through it, it's all awesome, it's open forever. But, if I do that, then the other two gray doors in the room will stay gray, and I'll have to kill all the enemies again. So what you want to do is you want to open all three of them before you pick a place to go. And I start at the left, because, just move away right, we're going into this room on the right. And here, you can see there's parking thingies, and those little dudes can shoot rings. Just shoot them. If you, if you keep shooting them, they won't shoot back at you. They'll just kind of fall in spike pits, and as you can see, I can stand around the top of them. No problem whatsoever. And there's three of these guys in here. Just keep shooting them in spike pits. And if you stand on them like I am, you can see that I'm not on the runway, so I'm not having to constantly move around, and my door is getting hit by these spiky things. Spiky, sparky things right there. And we get some missiles. Now we get to head back left. Now, if you're kind of low on energy, like lower than me, like below energy tank, you really, really want to kill some enemies, get yourself some energy going. And, well, you might want to kill them anyway, because it's kill or be killed. Yeah. And, uh, Phantom. Unlike Kray, it looks like we get absolutely nothing for killing him. But, uh, you'll think differently in just a uh, moment. By just a moment, I mean towards the end of the episode, probably. Sorry. We're gonna have to go back down and through the wrecked ship again. Uh, just. I don't mean like later in the game, I mean like just now. By the way, I wanna go in this room here? Why not? It's not really to see though. Much of this. And uh, you can see that there's a little thingy down there. And since we have the wave beam, of course, we can just kind of shoot down. See? What is that? It is a reserve tank. Yes, it is. And we will actually be getting that quite shortly. Now, here. You can see there's a bridge down there. We're going to go back down there just a minute. But for right now, you want to get a speed boost right along here. And you want to jump just to the right of this ledge here. And you want to shoot down and left as accurately and quickly, quick speed as the essence here. You want to shoot that as fast as possible because you have to shoot it out of the wall, you have to wait for it to turn to be grabbable, and then you have to actually physically touch it to get those missiles. If you don't do that, you're going to have to speed boost again. Now, right here, it seems like there's nothing. Uh, but if you look with your exoscope, or if you just know the game, you'll see that there is a super missile block right here. And also right here is a shot block, which can be either shot, it can be bombed, just get through it. And we get missiles. And it could go on and exit down out of this area, but you don't want to do that could on accident if you kind of fell through that gap right there, or you could if you want to by bombing that block. I don't know why in the world you would want to, unless you already got everything in the wreck ship and you this last, and come on, well, she just doesn't want to go in the hole. This is 
quite annoying. I am serious. Okay, now we're back. Stand straight up again. Superman sloped up. Move. Now, also right here, you can see that there's a shot block. And we're gonna move on right. There's a little nest here. You can get some items and energy back if you really care so much. And uh, you might want some of these, really. You don't need too much. I mean, they're going right back to your ship uh, in a minute anyway. And these guys, I'm killing, of course, for energy and such. Now, right here, this is an interesting little piece right here. Because this bridge, we saw it before on top, but that guy wasn't there. That guy is not there, ever, unless you are in the inside of this bridge right here. You can't see him from up top, you can't see him from down under. He's always here, and he's orange. That's one of the things. But the real cool thing is, if you haven't caught it yet, he follows your position. That's just a really cool thing, I right? And you would never see him anywhere else in the game, except for in this room, in this bridge, right now. Well, if you come back later, of course, he'll still be there, if as long as you're in the bridge, but whatever. Now, over to the right, we have a room with spikes and grapple blocks. So... You can just swing across there real quick. Or you can attempt to do a shine spark across. Which of course you need energy for. Now, the good thing about this isn't actually getting the charge. As long as you use a quick charge and you use a little water trick that I'll explain in a second, it's easy to get the actual charge. But it's harder to open the door. Like, after you're in the bridge, it's harder to open the next door without losing your charge. That's the difficult part. Now for this, the water trick is whenever your foot is a little bit in the water and you can see how I move kind of slowly there. That helps your speed boost, so that lets you get just a tad bit less room to get your charge. And of course you want to incorporate that speed charge and if you really feel like you can do it. Like the shine spark to the wreck ship, but it's actually harder for me to do it in that little tiny area. As you can see, you can grapple across, or you can just tear it up, suffer some energy, and uh, jump. So, uh, whatever is good for you. Now, this guy, of course, as you saw, you just kind of crawl into his hand. His eyes glow, and. Uh, Magico Presto, however the phrase goes. He starts walking, and you can see he's destroying the spikes. You don't really see the point in this right now, but you will in just a second, because it looks like he's just bringing him back to the door, but watch, watch it, bam. Underground. Under the freaking ground. Which is really cool. Now, right here, you'll see, that pipe is kind of a fall block, and that one leading out to the right looks kind of suspicious. That's because if you lay a bomb right here, I'm not going to take the time to pull up, I'm actually just going to show you. You can just roll right across. And bam, you just found your way into some pipes. And that looks familiar. Because it's real wide. You can see that these pits are a little bit deeper. I'd be wondering why that is. Well, you can walk right over them. No interruption to your running or walking whatsoever. You might think that is the most useless addition in the game. But you'll see in a minute why it's not so useless. And you'll see that you got missiles. I think that's the only thing you can do. But, uh. Much like their first pack of power bombs, you can power bomb the wall behind them. But in this case, you can also power bomb the statue. And, uh, you kind of need that. Yeah, you can run right over these guys. Let's have a run down to the right. And go up the shaft. 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 And you just found your reserve tank that we saw just a little minute ago. Now you don't want to fall right here because uh, yeah, you just don't want to fall right there. Not yet. After you get the reserve tank, yeah, that's your only way out. I mean, come on. But, uh, yeah. You don't want to fall. You want to jump straight. You don't want to somersault into it. You're probably gonna get yourself hurt. You want to jump straight into the middle of it, kind of like uh, that area at the top left to the surface of the planet. Whenever you wanted to fall straight in the middle of the fall block so you can get both packs of missiles? Same concept. Except no item. You can get yourself killed by them missiles. 
And you can see those walkers going left. That's to help your speed boost out. And ooh, as you can see, those are also speed boost. Makes it a little bit faster, so that's cool. And now we are on our way out. As our very last part of this episode, we get our item from Fanny. What is that? Doesn't look like anything you've ever seen? Watch and learn. Grab it. Gravity suit. The gravity suit I love. Not only does it up your defenses, watch this. That right there, that flashes my profile picture on YouTube if you haven't noticed. Anyway. Uh, that completely negates all effects of water on your movement. No restriction whatsoever. Now, I'm running kind of low on time, so uh, thanks for joining in for this episode, and we'll start back next episode.